If you're looking for the best Fork 6 speakers, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have JBL GT A6429 Premium 4X6 Inches Co-Axial Speaker. These JBL speakers are a major step up from stock. The cones are larger than what you might find on most 6-inch speakers. This allows for more efficient heat dissipation which delivers crisp, clear highs. I expected no less from a JBL speaker. You could easily use a 75-watt amplifier with these speakers without concerns of distortion. The mounting flange is a bit thick, and the center of the speaker does protrude higher than most. This does create some mounting issues, especially if you try to mount them under a tight surface like a dashboard cover or a close-fitting door panel. Moving on to the next at number 2, with Kenwood KFC X463 C Excel and 462 Way Speaker System. These speakers are precisely what you would expect from Kenwood. They sound real nice. We tested them with a 50 watt per channel amplifier, and they were great. I'd be careful about feeding them much more power than 50 to 75 watts. High volume or excessive musical peaks could easily put it over its 100 watt max. They have a lot of bolt pattern options to make door installation easy. It takes a lot of volume to distort them, and they sound nice and clear at low volume. The number three position is held by Lanzar Distinct 4X6 inch car stereo speakers. These are nice, inexpensive speakers. The mounting flange and the two inch mounting depth mean that these speakers should mount easily as a replacement for stock door speakers. If you choose to mount the speakers where they can be seen, the detachable metal grills have a real handsome design that should look nice with any interior. I must say that they sound pretty good for the price. The highs are at least as clear as the stock speakers they replace. They only have a peak rating of 120 watts, but the 60 watt RMS seems to handle our 70 watt per channel amplifier just fine, somewhere around 25 on the volume. The Iron Maiden did start to distort a bit, which wasn't a problem on some of the more expensive speakers, but I don't see this as an issue. Next at number 4, we have Polk Audio DB461 4x6 inch coaxial speakers. I included these speakers in the review because they are Marine certified speakers. The thing with Marine certified speakers is that they are built to handle both water and UV rays, and you don't have to be in a boat to appreciate a speaker that can stand up to the environment. The Marine speaker could be a good choice for the four-wheel drive guy who likes to hit the puddles and cross the creeks. Each speaker is equipped with a pole plate heat sink. This type of heat sink is exceptional in removing heat from the speaker, which is great if your vehicle spends a lot of time in the sun. The speakers sound really good and actually have a deeper base than most 4X6 inch speakers. They don't come with grills, so they do need to be mounted in a way that they are protected from dirt and sand. The numerous mounting holes should make for an easy mount almost anywhere. The number 5 position is held by Kenwood KFC 4675C 60 watt 4 inch X6 inch speakers. These speakers are at the lower end of the Kenwood car speaker family. Now this doesn't mean that they're not good sounding speakers. These speakers are for the audiophile who wants the security of Kenwood quality without having to spend the big bucks. With a peak wattage of only 90 watts and an RMS of 20 watts, these speakers are not meant to be hooked up to a high wattage amplifier. That would mean bye-bye speaker. With that said, let me say that they handled a 50 watt per channel amplifier just fine. I think that a lot of lesser quality 90 watt speakers would have distorted, but these Kenwoods hung in there. They don't come with grills, but are crazy with mounting holes. So you shouldn't have problem mounting them inside a door panel. The number six position is dominated by SCAR Audio RPX 46 or X6 coaxial speakers. You don't normally buy 4x6 inch car speakers for the bass. If you want bass, you add a woofer. I must say that I'm impressed with the bass range of these speakers. I'm not saying that they deliver the same banging bass that you get from a woofer, but for an inexpensive 4x6 car speaker, it's pretty good. It seems that some of the highs have been sacrificed in order to accommodate the bass, but nothing that is really a problem. I notice it a little on an easy guitar strumming song, but nothing to be concerned with. The configuration of the mounting flange can make it a tough mount. 
There aren't many holes, and the edges are angled which gets in the way if you're attempting a good flush mount. Moving on to the next, number 7 with two kicker 41 DSC 464 fork 6 plus 241 DSC 654 6.5 car speakers. Since you're replacing your stock 4x6 inch speakers with a couple of kickers, might as well add two more. These 120 watt 4x6 speakers come with two 6.5 inch round 240 watt speakers. Needless to say, these speakers rock. The 6.5 inch speakers sound better the louder they get, and the 4x6 inch speakers hang right in there for the ride. Don't be thinking that because you get four 6 speakers you must also be getting sick bass. These are not woofers. Adding a woofer to these speakers with a high wattage amplifier might be exactly the sound you need in your ride. The 4x6 speakers come with many mounting holes and have nice flat flanges for easy mounting. The 6.5 inch speakers have the standard four mounting holes that you see on most round speakers, which is perfect for replacing stock round door speakers. They even throw in a set of earbuds. The number eight position is held by Rockville RV46.3 of Fork 6 three-way car speakers. Here's a nice speaker for a nicer price. 250 peak wattage allows you to use all the amplifier that you think you might need. The built-in woofers do pump out some bass, and the eyes are nice and clear. These speakers do distort at very high volumes. If you don't play your tunes loud, you can't beat these speakers for the low price. Each speaker only has four mounting holes, and there is no actual flange where you can drill additional holes for mounting. The speakers are low profile, which is nice for mounting under door panels, but the lack of holes can be an issue. If you choose to mount these speakers in plain sight, they do come with a pair of real nice grills. Next at number 9, we have JBL Stage 6402 4X6 coaxial car audio speakers. This is a nice take care of business set of speakers. They offer the clarity that we expect from JBL without breaking the bank. Like most 4X6 car speakers, the bass is a little weak, but the crispness of the highs is extraordinary for such a low price speaker. These could be the most mountable speakers that we've reviewed. With only a 2 1 4 inch total height, and a low profile flange that is loaded with mounting holes. These speakers should easily mount behind a door panel or dash. Like most inexpensive speakers, they tend to distort in very high volume. Due to these speakers only having a peak wattage of 105 watts, a high wattage amplifier would only make the problem worse, but they do sound nice at a reasonable volume, especially the vocals. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Pioneer TSG 4600 4X6 200 watt two-way coaxial speakers. Nice speakers. These could be the best we've tested in the inexpensive category. We always expect a little less from the products that cost less, and this item is no exception, but it is surely the best of the less. Like most less expensive speakers, they are a little rough at high volume, but not as bad as most. The clarity of the highs compares to more costly speakers. The flanges make them very mountable. If you're looking to replace stock speakers without spending a lot of money, and you're not one that likes to crank up the Slayer to number 30 on the dial, these are good speakers for you. That's all for today. We upload tech product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.